Hi guys, welcome back to Edash Rodic. It's Eden Lee Middleman, your favorite host and dating and sex coach and friend and mother and advice giver and fortune teller and whatever else I have done for you. Um, oh, translator now. If you know, you fucking know. That means you listen to the podcast and you're you're doing better than everyone else is. Today is going to be really fun, less formal, less me just like chatting. It'll be me chatting the whole time, obviously. It's my podcast. Like, if you don't like it, then get the fuck out of here. Um, it's going to be a podcast Q&A, kind of. But it's not going to be like a lame ass, boring ass, stale ass, fucking basic bitch ass Q&A. It is going to be some of the wild unhinged questions that I get from time to time. I'm going to pick just like randomly a few. We're not going to do all of them. We're just going to do a chunk because I want to really give it my all and just like give back my feedback. And you know what? It's going to resonate with a lot of you guys. So here we go. I'm going to read it off. I'm going to maybe even put it somewhere on the screen so you can read it with me. So it feels like we're in school again. Thank you for the opportunity. You're welcome. <laughs> How do you tell a guy you just want to be fucked hard for like five to 10 minutes and be the object of his lust without giving him the false impression that I always feel slutty like this and that it's just a mood slash temporary desire and I don't want to be objectified like this all the time just occasionally if this is stupid I apologize this is probably one of the more interesting questions I have received ever and I just want to thank you so much for submitting this because we have a lot to unpack and discuss here There is nothing wrong with you wanting to be fucked like a dirty, nasty, slutty whore. I know I just dirty talked to some of you and you're getting turned on. Relax, okay? I feel you on this so fucking hard because not every guy can understand this concept. If you are like, I just want to be treated like a slut, they take that as, okay, so this is like what you want always and forever. And this is how I'm going to treat you going forward. No, dumb fuck. That's not how it is. If she's a lady on the streets, she can be a freak in the sheets. And this is top quality woman right there, right? If she only wants to be pounded the fuck down for five to 10 minutes, like you don't got to work no longer than that. You know, lucky you. You're a great woman, RQ. You are a great woman. <laughs> you can just tell him that. You can literally tell him what the fuck you just said to me because it was hot. It was worded interestingly. I loved it. I thought it was cool. It came from the heart, baby. You gave me like details and it was so easy to understand. Like I understood it. No problem. I don't know you like that. I understood it maybe because it like rings true to me. But, you know, you can tell your man that I just want to be fucked like a fucking slut. But then the way you act once you guys are done outside the bedroom, like go back to being the way you are on a day-to-day basis. It's totally fine. You can have a personality in the bedroom. There's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't mean that you are not you. It's just a part of you that is only appropriate in these certain environments or circumstances. Like me, when I yell at you guys on the fucking camera and I'm swearing all the fucking time, I'm not like that on a day-to-day basis all the time, believe it or not. I am a version of myself on here, but just definitely a more zoomed in, heightened, a more unhinged version because uh, this is the space that I can do it. I'm not speaking to somebody specifically I'm not you know around people I am able to do it in this specific circumstance I am a filthy disgusting woman in the bedroom which is something that you wouldn't expect of me if you were to just meet me or talk to me or even watch some of my videos you'd be like oh my god this girl's alpha she probably fucking like dominates her man no I don't you know and that's cool like think what she wants I have a man I trust who knows how to handle that, who knows how to deal with that, who knows how to get me off and get himself off. And we love it. And it works for us both. You know, it's both of our narratives in the bedroom. Great. He knows that he can't speak to me the way he speaks to me in the bedroom outside of the bedroom. Boys will never understand this. Men will. However, even a man needs you to only give him this privilege because this is a privilege when you're at that stage in that relationship if this is just a random man you've been speaking to for two weeks that you're not going to be that like filthy slutty whore okay that is a prize to be won and not saying that you are a prize to be won you're not just a prize you're a woman da, 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 da. but it is a bonus here's how I managed in my relationships I gave them the worst blowjobs of their life for the first month you think I can't suck dick no I can suck dick I'm not going to like be a sex goddess in bed with like a guy I fuck once. No, 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 no. That's boyfriend privileges. And I'm not going to tell you that's boyfriend privileges. You're going to fuck around and find out. You're not going to fuck around and you're not going to find out. You know what I mean? But like fuck around in a good way. Do you know what I'm saying? That's how I play my cards. Now play your cards whichever way works best for you and whichever way is comfortable to you. 
bottom line, what you can learn from me in this position, which I think is a great tip. My mother also taught me this as well. You don't have to give it all up right away. Patience, time. What is the rush? If there is a rush, you're with the wrong person, right? If there is a rush, like what are we rushing to? And if we get there, then we're going to sit back and say, okay, now what? Right? This is how people go fucking crazy. We're not doing that. You're going to get it when I feel like you deserve it. And I'm comfortable doing that. Again, a real man will be able to differentiate that what happens in the bedroom is in the bedroom and, and how I treat you outside of the bedroom. It doesn't have to reflect how I treat you inside the bedroom. So for example, what I would do in this situation is I would signify to him what mood you're in. Well, and if you just like pull down his pants and give him a blow job, like you're in a slutty mood. If you need him to like foreplay you a little bit and like work you up and take you out for dinner and da 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 and then you're gonna fuck him then like maybe you're in a less slutty mood you know and you want to have sex and you want it to be maybe a little bit more softer or meaningful or less aggressive or whatever the case may be have indicators my man knows when I'm in whatever type of mood I'm in because I make it be known I do my part I make it be known like I want you to let me the fuck out and I'll even say that sometimes you know what I mean like, I'll just say it point blank because I'm comfortable doing that and I want him to know exactly where I'm at. It's also good to feel it out, too. You learn this with time with one another in relationships. OK, so you've got a few options here. Talk about it straight up so nobody gets it confused. Have indicator sentences, words or actions that show that you're in this type of mood. And then when you're not in this type of mood, you're just not going to do that indicator action or opposite. Just say, I want you to make love to me you know what I mean like shit like that or like butter me up before you fuck me like just I like to say stupid shit like that you know or like take me out for dinner before you fuck me you know so then he gets it and it's like a joke and it works with our dynamic so you just have to play to your strengths work to your dynamic know who this person is make sure you're not fucking a little bitch boy okay thank you really great question I love this there is layers to this there's depth I could talk more about it also I love that you used the sentence object of his lust object of his lust like that's by the way guys if you're watching this men boys whatever boys who are trying to be men listen a woman wants to feel like your object of desire this is like the ultimate goal in a relationship if you can make your woman feel like she is the hottest like you're still salivating at her body like you still that feeds a woman so fucking much you have no idea like it's not about sexualizing her. It's about you're still lusting. You're in love with this person. You love them, all that stuff. But like you still lust over them. A lot of people lose that lust and that spark and that special vibe and feeling because they don't work at it. OK, that lust is not like a magical thing. OK, it seems magical at the beginning. But in order for you to keep it alive, you need to feed the fire. OK, or else the fire will die. Just to add to this. Because it's just coming to me. I didn't put much thought in prep. I just read it. And these are my real raw thoughts and feelings and advice. This is a mood slash temporary desire, which is what you said. And that's all that it is. OK, it doesn't mean that you are a slut for wanting to do these things or to have sex this way. There's nothing wrong with that. Just like every guy has a fantasy. Every girl has a fantasy. Every guy has a kink or something they're into. Same as a girl like we all have our things and this can come from time to time. I do not like my man fucking me like some whore all the time because it makes it less special. And I know eventually they take advantage of that without realizing it's not intentional. I set the tone. I decide, you know, more or less how it's going to go down. We're pretty in sync when it comes to that. You know, we're vocal. We speak about things and it's just super important to do these touch bases. I'm not scared to talk and say what what it is that I'm feeling, what it is that I want. And he can read my body language and he can feel what it is that I want with this sexual experience. So again, this is not just your battle. It's the finding the right sexual partner who understands you. Ideally, somebody that you have gotten to know over a longer period of time and somebody that you trust. OK, so now I have some like rapid fire fun questions. You guys are so silly, 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 silly. OK, when you are single, do you have a preferred age range to date in? I'm going to say that for women, and I think every single woman and their mother says this, women should date older usually. Um, and by older, I don't mean that if you're 20, you should date a 50-year-old, you fucking sicko. Daddy-issued, riddled woman. Fix it. Okay? I've got my daddy issues too, honey. 
I'd be working on it. I'd be fixing it. I'm not trying to go with a 50 year old loser because 50 year olds who date 20 year olds can't fucking fuck around in their age range. That's why they got to go younger to more malleable, dumber girls. That's why they do it. Go watch my age gaps and relationships video slash episode. I will link it in the description. Don't hate on me. I'm just being real, raw, and honest. And this is what I would tell my fucking daughter. Okay, beware. I get to eat you and your dad. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's the age range I'm in. And it's cool. Like, I get, in my opinion, more options. I'm always attracted to older men. I will be because boys and, like, the social media and the flexing and the, like, I'm just an old soul, I think, to begin with. I've always been that way. So, older. Definitely older. My age range is 10 years older at least. And I'm allowed to because I'm not 20 years old. I think men should date like a few years younger. I think it just makes sense with maturity level or same age if you're a, a pretty mature man. Uh, that's where I stand. Now, I don't say I don't think 10 years younger is a good vibe for you because I think that it's not actually allowing you and motivating you and inspiring you and holding you accountable to growth. This is the problem when, when men date young women too is they just are reliving that chapter in their life for a longer extended period of time when it has been expired for you johnny doesn't look good on you mr frat kegger boy next question if the face is equal between two guys what is more important to you body or height Ooh, i'm not interested in like hulk super built men like i've never been that i like a lanky guy to a degree like more on the linkier side not necessarily like a pool noodle I make those jokes all the time but you know like I'm also not picky about body type as long as you're healthy if you're overweight I'm not interested sorry I'm not gonna lie I've just I cannot do overweight have I like tried that I have it's just not for me like I I just we need to be healthy healthy is important like I'm very particular with what I eat and my diet and my lifestyle you know I'm a vegetarian I'm fucking gluten-free now not by choice, but I have an intolerance. Anyways, things like that. So diet and eating and healthy workouts and stuff like that has been in my family. Like we're decently athletic. So uh, it's something that is important to me and that's part of my values. So that's the only reason why it's I've dated not cute guys, like physically attractive guys. They just became hot to me because of the personality. And I know that I'm pretty good with that. Like I can date an ugly guy. Honestly, my theory is like, I would rather date an ugly guy to be honest with you. Like less headache you know what I mean just like date an ugly guy he treats you good he's attractive to you that's all I need all, that's all I need I don't need you to be attractive to the general eye be attractive to me and me only kind of thing you know because women I believe and like especially me I know some of my girlfriends are like oh I have a hard time with that I can see what you're saying but I have a hard time with that me it's like I, you can become attractive to me you know I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but that's the truth you wanted my thoughts and opinions. That's my thoughts and opinions. So I'm going to say maybe height. But again, I've also dated a guy that was shorter than me. I don't really care if you're super short. No, because I'm a tall girl. So no, I just like shit in bed wouldn't work out. Like I like to wear high heels and I'm a tar- tall girl. So it is a little bit more underlined. But again, I'm not picky about either or I guess I'm going to say what's more important to me here is body because you cannot be overweight for me. You cannot. That's my opinion. My preference, my preference, okay? Don't get mad. If you only date fucking blondes, that's your preference. I can judge you on that, but I also can't because that's your fucking life. Do you know? So, ciao. Ciao, me more. You ask me about me, I don't want to hear nothing, okay? And I love when you guys, like, I, I'm, I'm not trying to go on a tangent, but it's so funny when, like, trolls literally write me paragraphs and I can just delete it. Like, you wasted so much time helping raise my engagement and activity on my episodes. Like, why are you doing that if you don't like me? weird okay anyways <laughs> another rapid fire question would you date an ex's friend if he wanted to seriously court you and got your ex's blessing a fucking law ladies learn okay you want to be that woman you want to be top tier you want to be like wow she's special the one that got away like something different about her it's as simple as not fucking in the same circles it's as simple as that. The one thing you'll never catch is me dating the same guy from the same friend circle, bitch. I'm ghost. You don't know me. I come in fresh, clean slate. Your friends and boys know nothing about me. Nothing about me. I will never fuck an ex's friend ever. Sorry, my ex's friends are just as ugly as my exes are to me now. Do you know what I mean? Like 
it's just not a thing I can categorize that in my head I don't know maybe I'm just like a very moral person where I'm like oh I don't think that that's appropriate even if they fucking do me dirty like I'm not trying to fuck their friends because you're all repulsive to me by that point you know you know it's like my my girlfriend's brothers for example like ew could never no I, I don't care and some girls are like oh my god like my friend's brother's hot like what's wrong with you what's wrong with you sorry I don't know. I don't know how you guys can see them as hot. My thing is just like, no, I just I can categorize them as whatever it is. And I don't look at them. I don't give them another look. I don't even give myself the time to analyze if they're hot or not. It's just not a thing for me. So the answer to your question is absolutely the fuck not. And my advice to everybody is stop fucking the same friend circle. What, what do you think? Like people are the sum of their five friends. So if you fucked one of them, you think the other his friend, best friend is going to be different. They're, they're all going to be the same fucking garbage. What are you doing? Like, and trust me, the attention that you get from that is not cute. I have been in men's group chats for <laughs> study purposes. I grew up with men and I know how they speak about you. You're not hot. They be sending each other your nudes. It is disgusting. They make fun of you. The shit that goes, it should be illegal, honestly. And I, I, think everyone's wrong in this situation is absolutely mortifying what the fuck I've seen and heard uh, just fucking stay away stay the fuck away man there's enough people on this planet you guys I don't understand if you live in like a small village move move I'm gonna end it here this was a cute short fun and sweet Q&A we went over a lot of topics a lot of fun juicy things you got to know more about me some of my Personal thoughts and feelings on topics. Although I never keep those a secret, as we know. If you guys have any more questions, this is the video to write them on, as well as any other Q&A series that I post. I literally screenshot them and keep them in a folder on my computer, and I go through almost all of them, okay? So this is your chance, baby. Thank you so much for submitting these questions to each and every one of you guys. I had a lot of fun. Again, leave your questions down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell for the notification so you don't miss more of these videos. You can listen to my podcast anywhere you listen to podcasts. e Rodic by Eden Middleman. And don't forget to give it five large and in charge stars. It really helps me out so, so much. And I appreciate all of you guys for doing that so far. It's been so nice to see your comments and your ratings and messages. So I see you. I love you all. And I will see you back here very fucking soon. Bye guys.